Hello, I'm Dr. Sandeepa Biswas and you are watching my channel Econs on Earth. In this video, I will uh, tell why agricultural sector, despite having a uh, comparatively smaller share in the GVA, is providing a larger share of employment generation. So, first of all, we will go through uh, some statistics. On the board, you can see all the three sectors, that is agriculture sector, industrial sector and the service sector and here are their respective shares in the GVA of the economy. In 2020 uh, and 21, agricultural sector had 20.2% in GVA and it dropped to uh, 2020, uh, dropped in 2021-22 to 18.8%. And uh, why this uh, uh, has been increased in, in the previous year? Because you know that we were suffering from the COVID pandemic and the other two sectors were adversely affected to a large extent and that's why its share seems to increased in the percentage term but the long term uh, share of the agricultural sector is 18 and even below uh, this percentage it, ra it uh, ranged between uh, 14 15 to 18 percent in the recent uh, past years the industrial sector has 25.9 uh, percentage in uh, 2021 uh, uh, in the total GBA of the economy and apparently uh, your service sector is having 53 percentage in the GBA and the data is taken from the economic survey 2021-2022 while uh, now we will go through the employment uh, generation or the uh, labor force that are working in these three uh, sectors in the agriculture sector you can see in 18 19 42.5 percentage of total uh, labor force uh, were, uh, working in the agricultural sector in and in 2019 20 45.6 percent uh, of workforce were uh, working in the agricultural sector and this data is from the plfs the periodic labor fund survey and the ILO's uh, data for the, uh, for this is 41.99% ILO uh, International Labour Organization and here uh, for industrial sector is it's uh, ILO's data uh, for 2020 it's 26.18% 18% and for service sector it is 32.33% for the year 2020 so in this industrial sector you can see this is balanced 25 percent uh, 25.9 percent in gva contribution and 26.18 percent for the employment generation but these two sectors are uh, misadjusted somewhat uh, i will take this 18 percent share in the uh, gva and absorb uh, as high as 45.6% uh, in 1920 so it's a lopsided balance and here also 53% in the GVA while absorbed only 32.33% uh, of the labor force in 2020 so why this phenomena is here um, what is the reason behind this first of all you uh, as being the student or um, associated with the economic discipline you may have heard definitely the term or phrase disguised unemployment in agricultural most of the people are disguised unemployment or suffering from this uh, disguised unemployment because they are uh, or, or their marginal productivity is almost zero that means if they uh, put them away or if we take them away from the uh, whatever the work in the agricultural sector the productivity of that sector will not be affected at all and that is the reason uh, we have we are having a lower productivity or production level in the uh, agricultural sector and its employment share is very high because people are paid according to their average wage rate not with, not according to their mar marginal uh, wage rate in the industrial sector you know the people or the labor force is paid according to uh, according to their marginal productivity so this is the main reason this, the disguised 
are employment their marginal productivity being zero or near to zero okay this is the reason but other question may arise like if their productivity is zero then why don't we just move them why don't we just make some policy uh, so that they can migrate to the other two sectors this could be a possible solution but again uh, there are uh, other uh, problems i will say that suppose this is the agricultural sector and most of the labor force are uh, working in this sector why why they are not migrating to the other sector there are a number of reasons okay so uh, i will take one just like uh, um, skill i will uh, i will talk about the skill in agricultural sector you don't need a very specialized education or a skill to work there that means um, you can uh, sow the seeds you can cut the crops you can uh, do the irrigation through the pipes etc etc these are all works uh, that you uh, generally do in the agricultural fields but the works in industrial sector and the service sector is totally and mostly different from these simple works and that's why there is a gap between the skill set that is needed in the different kind of sectors and that is the constraint uh, because of what the agricultural labor or agricultural workforce uh, don't migrate very frequently to the industrial sector and the service sector second is the accommodation problem you know that mostly the population of india is living in the rural area so accommodation is uh, uh, very cheap or without any cost they are mostly living with their families they don't have to pay for that but if they migrate to the industrial sector and the service sector maybe they will have to pay for that and that's not easy for them that's maybe costly or uh, out of their reach second is the quality of their living um, standard or the hygiene problem may uh, arise because mostly the poor people end up living in the slum areas or on the industrial uh, uh, points or the centers same thing is for this is for service sector i will not say that because service sector needs different skill set so also uh, without um, any much specialization agricultural labor cannot go to the service sector directly move for most of the uh, uh, services okay and there is some uh, emotional uh, or non economic factors responsible for this also because people don't want to uh, leave their family for some job they want to uh, be at their land uh, they want to uh, uh, they want to be close to their families so this is the emotional reason for uh, because of uh, why uh, because of which the labor force don't migrate to their uh, to the industrial or the service sector another important reason is that if these two sector industrial and uh, uh, service sector is generating employment or service opportunities or not because in the agricultural sector you uh, can be disguisedly employed you know you are half employed half unemployed but in the industrial and uh, service sector you cannot be like that there has to have a uh, job yes or no so if there is some capacity in these two sector to absorb the fresh uh, immigrating labor force from the agricultural sector if if they are able to absorb them or not that's a question another reason is the availability of food in the agricultural sector where they are close to their family and friends they will not generally they will not have the problem of fooding but if they migrate in the industrial sector or the service sector and if they don't have money definitely they will starve out 
so these are the few reasons a uh, few important reasons uh, for which the migration from agriculture sector to the industrial and uh, service sector is not very easy at the present time in future maybe there will be some policies or the some structural change of the economy so, uh, the, uh, and so um, that's why the imbalance will be even out that's all for uh, for this video i hope it has uh, it may has in increased understanding uh, among the students uh, thank you for watching please subscribe and share my channel if you like the video thank you so much